Hi there, it's Mary Charlson here from 5minutemarketing.com and coming at you this week with some content around being word of mouth worthy. Um, I had a, it, I put out my e-newsletter last week and got some interesting comments around this whole notion of you know, being word of mouth, uh, worthy, generating uh, people talking about you online and off but in particular, looking at it from the perspective of during the pandemic. And so what I did is I tossed out a couple of stats initially, which I thought were really quite fascinating from, this was based on a Reuters University study, and this is pre-pandemic, but it talked about 70% of word of mouth conversations happen face to face. And then 20% of all brands in the US are sold through recommendations from friends. And I got thinking about that and, I, and it was, uh, you know, it, kind of interesting because I was thinking, well, gosh, we don't have a whole lot of face-to-face -face interaction happening right now during the pandemic, or at least it's a little bit more limited. There's a whole lot more online stuff happening, whether it be, you know, through Zoom calls, through, you know, uh, uh, direct messaging, various things that are happening. And so I got thinking, I wonder what's happening with this notion of word of mouth during uh, a time period during the pandemic. So I dug a little deeper into a study which was done in the United Kingdom, the United States, China, and Brazil, looking at consumer purchase uh, decisions and influence. And again, what this study showed was, you know, in the United States, as an example, 79% of those purchases were influenced by word of mouth. An additional 69% were influenced by online reviews from other consumers. So it was very clear that there's this, this word of mouth, this interaction with a third party, not the company, which is so, so powerful. That trend was the same in the United States, the, the UK, and in China. In Brazil, it was a little different in that the online reviews from consumers were about the same as online reviews from industry experts, but again, it was still a third party, and word of mouth for all of the countries was the top one. So I started kind of posing this out to my e-newsletter group to, you know, to see how this may have changed for them, you know, during this period where we're, we're obviously we're online a whole lot more. I've read some studies that have pegged the time spent online has gone from three hours a day on average up to 10 hours a day tuned to media as defined by work and entertainment activities. Obviously, that's not all work, but it means we're online and interacting online a whole lot more. And there's no doubt, you know, an uptake, you know, with all the contactless shopping and, you know, uh, the initial store closures and contactless payment systems and delivery, we're obviously purchasing a whole lot more online. And again, that lines up well with this more online content. So I thought it seemed logical that this whole kind of previous kind of person, you know, word of mouth may have switched slightly more to other channels, but I wasn't sure to what degree. Um, certainly we know, you know, it's, it's, I always find it kind of alarming, the pre-pandemic studies, how much of it actually is, you know, face-to-face, mouth-to-mouth sharing of content. And so I believe it's become modified, you know, kind of modified in person, such as face-to-face -face Zoom calls, uh, actual phone calls, or close family and friends, you know, in groups interaction or increased digital interaction. I think that's a whole lot what is at play here. Um, but when I put some of these observations out to my inner circle of e-newsletter subscribers last Sunday, I was hit with a deluge of comments about how word of mouth is so important right now. And people were talking to others, you know, uh, uh, you know using you know, things like uh, Facebook community groups, posting to pages, direct messaging on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Um, others said they post things in forums and messaged in WhatsApp groups or simply tagged friends and uh, texted them, um, those that were in the know. You know, many said that they relied on consumer-based rating sites now more than ever. Um, it seemed anything from, you know, hair salons to break jobs to food delivery to, you know, safe places to shop, travel, recreate. They noted that they trusted this word of mouth and reviews and recommendations from friends now more so than ever. They were really, really relying on it. So I think during this challenging time in particular, people are looking for solutions and recommendations that often leads them to seek alternatives uh, beyond their usual scope. Certainly we know from other studies that there's this huge opportunity for people switching right now. Um, you know, that could be opportunity or threat, depending if they're switching to you or away from you. 
but we know that they're looking for substitutes and hybrids. Um, I did a post around that uh, a number of uh, weeks ago as well, uh, which I'll, I'll link to this post at the end of this video, but I'll also uh, within that post, there are hyperlinks to the past posts, which kind of link all this stuff together. So I think this whole pandemic word of mouth um, shift is taking place. And, um, you know, it's, it's true that we're infatuated with social media and, you know, and being able to influence things that way, um, you know, recommendations, uh, but a majority of those recommendations seem to be happening in conversations, uh, word of mouth. Uh, but here's the twist, is that I think it's caused some shifts to digital channels uh, that, that kind of facilitate that word of mouth. Um, but a lot of those channels are kind of direct digital channels um, and they go beyond just, uh, you know, kind of public social media. And so we've entered that realm of kind of closed group, um, you know, direct one-on-one -on -one digital communication, you know, whether it be through, you know, uh, closed groups, one-on-one uh, -on -one messaging, uh, you know, DM, you know, there's, there's more of that going on. Now, that's not something you can buy your way into. You have to earn it. Now, arguably, this is a trend that was underway prior to the pandemic, but I, I think really uh, the pandemic has accelerated it. And so, you know, I think this is the way of marketing in the future. Simply the pandemic has accelerated it. Uh, so really, you know, what it comes down to is, you know, um, not so much spending money on, you know, chasing social media impressions and shares. It's about, you know, in, in traditional paid advertising, it's about giving your audience something worth talking about. Um, you know, exceed, wildly exceed their expectations in a multiple you know, multitude of ways, you know, um, have a company brand story uh, that's so fascinating or emotionally connected that consumers want to share it with others. Um, you know, being word of mouth worthy, you know, really boils down to having a story to tell. Um, you know, honestly, now more than ever, I think this stuff matters. So, you know, really, um, you know, tying your story together, maybe having a larger purchase, evoking that emotional connection, you know, having triggers, causing people to care, um, you know, delight your customers daily. Don't just satisfy them, delight them. Um, I think that is key to making all of this work together, uh, especially uh, during this time during the pandemic. So word of mouth, yes, it's still super strong and it's out there, but it has shifted slightly during the pandemic. It's likely not going to shift back once the patterns are in place. It's gone into some direct channels, stuff that you don't have access to, you have to earn the right to get there. And you only do that by having a story to tell. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next in the next five minute marketing video. Be sure to check out the post. I'll put the links in, in, the, uh, in the video uh, notes and uh, check out some of the subsequent links within that post that will lead you into a bevy of content and, and interesting stuff around this topic area. Thanks for being here and uh, thanks for checking in and look forward to seeing you in the next video.